What's up everyone? My name is Tony and uh, I'm currently uh, staying in... Uh, is that too close? I don't even know what's too close anymore. I can't. I'm using the rear camera so I have no idea what's going on. Uh, but uh, I am in, currently in Tepusco, Jalisco, the land of my forefathers. And uh, I came out here under rather sad circumstances. My grandmother passed away. And uh, that happened. And uh, if when you're in Mexico, if you don't have a method of transportation, it could be rather boring. So when we got picked up, I asked uh, uh, the buddy that picked me up if he knew anybody that rented a motorcycle. And he was like, I got one. Uh, I'll let you borrow it, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Uh, he needed it back. It was his motorcycle. Asked for it again. And then his brother's motorcycle broke down, so he let his brother borrow it. So I was asked out. I was like, you know what? God damn it. I'm 26 years old. I'm going to buy me a motorcycle. So I, I shopped around. I asked around, and I shopped around. My cousin told me of this uh, this shop in Teocaltiche. And it's called El Bodegón, and they have, they sell like a, it's like a curacao, like a, uh, like a fries, but they just happen to sell motorcycles. And I picked this one up. It's called a Velocity Exa versus 250R. And uh, I'm doing this review for all my fellow gringos that come out to Mexico and are debating on purchasing one of these. Um, so I paid 31,000 pesos. Pesos, listen to me. Pesos. 31,000 pesos to purchase this thing. And the good thing about El Bodegón is that they accept they accept Visa, so I, I put this shit on my credit card, and uh, yeah, so now I have my own bike, I don't have to go, you know, ask and beg to borrow people's motorcycles, I have my own, and it's actually pretty sick, um, to, so this is going to be like sort of a review, I guess, of the features, and uh, just of how it looks, I mean, it looks, it looks really good, they come in three colors, this is the white version. There's another one that um, that comes in red, where this is red. Another one where this is black, and then this is yellow. It's variations. Look it up. These are inverted uh, front suspension forks, which apparently are better. And this is this is what is considered a, a dual sport. So you know, it'll serve you well uh, off road, and it. It's well equipped to be ridden on the road with turn signals, integrated turn signals. These are LEDs. Uh, this is a xenon, not halogen, halogen, whatever. So it's, it's pretty much an HID. HID turn signals. Um, same thing in the back. It has turn signals. Turn signals. And uh, of course your stoplight plate for the license plates, but <laughs> let's face it, we're not going to get that now, are we? What I really liked were these, uh, I guess you could consider these like butterfly disc brakes, butterfly discs, uh, dual piston calipers, and this, these tires, man, these tires. Um, I asked the guy that worked there, but when you, when you buy the bike, you're supposed to take it to a, a mechanic to activate it, you know, do the, you know, prep it to actually start it because there's no gas you gotta tie in some stuff whoop -de -woo. I asked him if this was if this had a silencer in it he said no but he said no but I mean I kind of see something in there I don't know who knows I don't really feel like taking these rivets out and finding out nobody got time for that shit it sounds good as it is so yeah 250 single piston single cylinder um what else? I mean, it has it has it comes with the hand guards, and uh, it it came with the helmet. It came it came with the free helmet, but 
I was so excited to get this thing. I didn't even try the helmet out. They kind of just—they kind of just gave the helmet to me, and uh, it all happened so fast. I didn't realize that. Uh, I didn't realize that the helmet was one size too large. So it's a large, and I'm actually a medium because when I put that thing on and I turn my head, like the helmet stays still because my head is just like pivoting inside. It's not moving with my head, so that's kind of annoying. I'm actually gonna hit them up today and see if I can exchange this for a medium came with the little tank guard they claim this is carbon fiber but hell no that is not carbon fiber dude that is just straight up like some decal like it's not real that's not i mean so 31,000 pesos is uh 31,000 pesos is roughly the, the dollar is at 18 right now that's like 1700 bucks i put that shit on my credit card and uh, I mean, I'll pay it off. I can pay it off when I get home. But I had a, a neighbor, a buddy from around here, actually my cousin or something like that. Not so many cousins out here, it's fucking crazy. He was selling me a 2007 Honda 150, all beat up, clutch lever was broken. It was a straight up uh, motocross bike, they didn't have no lights. It was, uh, it was beat up. He wanted 35,000 pesos for it. And, uh, I mean, I suppose I might have done it. I don't know. I didn't have that much type of money on hand. Especially in cash. But, I mean, the bike was beat up. 2007, beat up as fuck. And I bought this for 31. So, and it's new. I mean, sure, it's not a brand, it's not a name brand bike. But, for roughly $1,700, you I mean, you can't go wrong. There's the thing, it says, uh... So they're they're made in China, but they are assembled here in Mexico. And uh, let's see, let's get this thing started. So it comes with a set of keys like this, right? And uh, when they first showed me this, I thought it was so cheesy. But this thing has an alarm. Okay, so you lock it. It, but the little lights been on the front. Okay. So now it's it has, it's locked. It has an alarm. And it, I'm not sure if it's armed or just locked. Okay. So now it's armed. You come. And if you touch the bike. Wow. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> there it goes. So yeah, it has a fucking alarm. Okay, so okay, now it's unlocked, so you press the unlock button, and it has fucking remote start, and like I said, I thought it was so cheesy, but it's, it's pretty fucking sick, bro. Alright, so we're gonna hit this button twice. One, two. And she's on. Or not. I didn't start her up yesterday, so maybe something will be better. Give it a little bit of gas. One, two, get some gas flowing in there. Try that again. Alright, one, two. Alright, so it took me like 30 seconds, but I just had to fiddle around with it. It's on. The bike is uh, on a slight incline, somewhat, so we'll, we'll go with it was that. But, uh, anyways, that's the bike. It's on. And, uh, Light, so then right now it's off parking lights I don't know what that is let's see nothing really and then go up to headlights and then you can see the light well you can't see it right now but now it's on it's pretty sick dude it's warming up but I go it does a job. It has a high beam. That's a high beam. That's high beam. Low beam. High beam. Low beam. High beam. Low beam. Hill switch. Start switch. Obviously that. Your accelerator. Brakes. Lamb. I need to adjust this. It's branded with a like a laser engraving. 
here you see it, it's very faint. Anyway, it says Veloci, Veloci right here. And that is the exhaust note. I'm not sure what you guys think, but... Anyways, that's that. She's a little cold. I think there might be a... I was fucking... I had this, I had this friend that was telling me about this uh, spark plug wire. So, I have to fiddle. We, we took this apart. He was showing me some stuff. Hoping that's it. But, uh, overall, good bike. Uh, I would recommend it. And uh, for 1700 bucks for a brand new dual sport, you can't go wrong in Mexico. Alright, peace. See you later.